Hey everybody, I'm the Seasoned Soul Sister and welcome to my channel. This is a Titus 2 ministry, a place where we teach what is proper. Today, I will be talking about character building. I will discuss everything there is to know about what God expects from us as Christians. Welcome to episode two. This lesson is called Character Building. Idolatry equals worshiping the world. The lesson comes from 1 Kings 18, chapter, verse 21. 1 Kings 18, 21. Elijah stood in front of them and said, How much longer will you try to have things both ways? If the Lord is God, worship him. But if Baal is God, worship him. The people did not say a word. In other words, Elijah was saying, people make up your mind. You see, Christians have been in the church for many years and there is still a lack of light after many years of listening to the truth. Just like the people in Elijah's day, they were double-minded. They did not want to let go of the things of the world. James 1 verses 7 through 8 tells us, For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. I think the Christians of today's world don't mind being double-minded. I think that there are too many Christians in, in this life who are always trying to keep their options open and not committing to one given thing. Total commitment to the Lord is important, my friends. It means that you are closing your options to the world. Now, James starts off in chapter four, verse four, with a strong word, word towards the double-minded. He calls them adulterous people. You adulterous people, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. That's serious, my friends. You see, we can't live with Jesus and the world. It's not possible. It's actually like a woman who makes a choice between two men. What kind of woman would she be if she decided to stay with both men? We can't marry Christ and be married to someone else. We can't have Christianity and all the other gods of the world. We don't recognize these gods by name, but these are the gods of the world and it's called idolatry. What idols are many Christians refusing to give up? or dormant for celebrities, addiction to sports, money, addiction to sex, etc. I have come to the conclusion that the more educated people become, the more they want to embrace the things of this world and people don't want to give up their own gods. The sooner people resolve this issue of idol worship, the better off they will be an idol is something that takes the place of God in our life. And a lot of Christians don't realize that committing themselves to Christ is like getting married. And when you get married, you get rid of all the others. Double-minded people will never have a sturdy Christian life. How does a person conquer double-mindedness? It requires a complete transformation of mind and heart, creating a whole new life. The followers of Jesus must do what is good. There's no exceptions. Christians do not do good for their own sake, but they do good for the sake of Christ. Our goal is to make the message of Jesus look good. When you change from the ways of the world and decide to be Christian people, what do you do? Many Christians have not seen much of a change in their lives and it's pretty obvious to others around them. They are wasting their life. It would be best for them to choose to either be a radical Christian 
or radical person in the world. It's like they're living as an unfaithful wife, living as if she were single. She spends her time doing what she likes and only calls on her husband when she needs something done. Many people treat Jesus this way. They spend their time doing what they want to do in this world, and they only call on him when they need a favor. Can you imagine being in a marriage like that? Remember, we are married, committed to Christ. Ephesians 5.30 tells us, as the scriptures say, a man leaves his father and mother to get married, and he becomes like one person with his wife. This is a mystery, but I understand it to mean Christ and his church. Our example is Jesus Christ. Marriage teaches people how to be in a covenant with Christ. The Father is a spirit, the Holy Spirit is a spirit, but Jesus is not only a spirit, but he took a human body forever. Meaning he left his father and joined with his wife, the bride, and became one flesh with you and me forever. Jesus temporarily forsook the position in heaven and took on a human frame permanently to become one with us and shame on us for wanting to cling to the things of this world. We love the world, we love money, we love the things that the world can offer, and we have the nerve to say, I want Jesus too. Double-minded, unstable in all our ways. My friends, we have a very short life. It will soon pass. We don't want to have any shame or regret regrets when we stand before the Father in eternity. How do you begin character building, you may ask? The answer is in one phrase. Whatever makes Jesus look good. The Christian life is not so much about rules and rituals. It is about doing whatever it takes to adorn the gospel, to make our faith more attractive to others. My friends, I feel an urge to repent right now. Please listen to my prayer. Jesus, forgive me of my wandering. Forgive me for loving the things of this world more than I love you. I can no longer be married to the world and married to you. I vow to have one husband, one God. Living this way will make my life more joyful, more peaceful. I know that you want me, you want to help me build a worthy character so that I can be more of what you call me to be. You know everything about me and you have a specific plan for my life. I want to fully commit my life to you and yet, I also know that I have not surrendered all that I am to your will. Father, I ask you to help me become more committed to you in every way. No matter what happens in this life, I am your child and you are my God. It is in Jesus holy and precious name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining this episode and stay tuned for the next episode. God bless you. Love you all in Jesus. <laughs>